I need to breathe. I actually need to breathe. I my my voice is getting lower. Mm -hmm. The scratchiness is starting to settle in. It is what it is. You know what we. <laughs> Big D right there. Welcome guys. Uh, Kratos or Dark Synth here. But um, I'm here to talk about what could potentially be NRS's next game. And we all think we already know what it is. It's Mortal Kombat 12. Um, it, <coughs> it makes the most sense. Next year is Mortal Kombat's 30th anniversary. Uh, and for everyone saying, oh, it's Injustice 3. Oh, it's Marvel. No. No, it's not. It's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> I don't care what anyone says. You put two and two together, it's just logical. 30th anniversary of Mortal Kombat. 2022. NRS hasn't put a game out for three years. Come on. It's Mortal Kombat 12, guys. Um, but anyway. Or something else of what I'm going to talk about. But anyway. Uh, on to the topic. What I think NRS is going to do is build upon Mortal Kombat 11. Um, and those leaks and rumors, y'all have seen uh, how they might be reusing Mortal Kombat 11, exactly Mortal Kombat 11, um, and then building upon that, bringing all the rest of the Mortal Kombat characters. You guys may think that's crazy, but let me tell you, that's not the first time NRS has done something like this. Um, Mortal Kombat 3, back when they were Midway, not NRS. Mortal Kombat 3 was a three-staged game. It went Mortal Kombat 3, UMK 3, then Mortal Kombat Trilogy. Each iteration, they just built upon it. They added more characters, more stages, more finishers. I'm pretty sure animalities weren't a thing in MK3 until UMK3. Correct me if I'm wrong. They might have been at the start of Mortal Kombat 3. I really don't remember that clearly, but... Um... Yeah, just Mortal Kombat 11. Or 12, whatever you want to call it. I feel like it's going to be a trilogy game. Because if you look at the roster for Mortal Kombat 11, we have a lot of the characters there. We're just missing some of the legacy, like Striker, Reptile, Ermac, Smoke. Um... Those are just the main four huge Mortal Kombat characters I can think of. Cyrex, Sector. Where are those characters? Um, well, let me tell you. They're going to be in Mortal Kombat 12 or Mortal Kombat 11 Trilogy. Um, what NRS is going to be showing off at the Game Awards tomorrow. I feel like it's 95% a thing. Um, even if you look at Ed Boon's most recent tweet, he's in LA right now. I was just thinking, yo, Ed Boon. What are you doing in L.A., homie? You should be in Chicago working on your game. But we all know the Game Awards is in L.A. And Ed Boon's there. So put two and two together. NRS is revealing something. And it's most likely Mortal Kombat 12 or Mortal Kombat 11 Trilogy, whatever you want to call it. Um, you're seeing MK3 gameplay in the background right now. Um... Just imagine all these old stages. I mean, some of these stages are already in retro okay, don't get me wrong. But having all these stages, just imagine we're looking at Soul Chamber right now. This is already in MK11. But imagine the original pit. The not the not the outside pit. I'm talking about Shao Kahn's uh stage, the pit. Where you usually fight Shao Kahn at uh, as the final boss. You got the rotating spikes at the bottom. Um, my god, this map, this stage, Skyscraper, the streets. Seeing all these stages fucking in high fidelity graphics would be amazing. And then more finishers. I remember Ed Boon bringing up a poll um, a while back. I tried finding it for this video, but I couldn't find it, which sucks because... I want to show proof and evidence that he said it. 
but um, I guess you just got to take my word for it. He posted something regarding Mortal Kombat 11 content. He said, what do you guys want to see more of in Mortal Kombat 11? He put, um, I know Animalities was one of them. Um, I think Stages was another. More Stages. Uh, and some other stuff. But I feel like Netherrealm was in the middle of making more content for MK11. A.K.A. Combat Pack 3. <laughs> and something, either COVID or just something in the company, uh, interrupted its production. So what they're doing with that content is they're probably going to move it over to MK12, their next game. Um, for the roster size, I feel like we're getting definitely a Armageddon size roster. No fact, uh, or no, f no doubt. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, I'm not redoing this. I've been recording this commentary for this long without stopping. Uh, I'm just going to do it all in one take. But, um, for the roster size, I feel like we're getting an Armageddon size roster. Um, plus DLC. If I'm being all on, <laughs> if I'm being honest, uh, with DLC, I would rather see Mortal Kombat characters, not guest characters. But, uh, we all know how that's going to go. Guest characters sell. That's just big dollar signs and NRS's eyes right there. But, um,. Guest characters, let's speak about it. Who do you want to see? Uh, I'd like to see... You know... This probably wouldn't be possible, because it's a Marvel character. But we could all agree, it would be badass to see him. And that's Blade. He... Uh, Blade in Mortal Kombat fits so well. A vampire slayer with the sword, guns... Uh, and just him being brutal? That'd be badass. Um... Doom Slayer, or Doom Guy, whatever you want to call him. That'd be another badass pick. Uh, he just, again, he's such a Mortal Kombat character with all the tools he has. The flamethrower on his shoulder, uh, the blade, his shotgun, um, just all sorts of stuff he can use uh, to his arsenal. And again, uh, another brutal-ass character that will just rip your head off, pop it, rip your spine out. He's a Mortal Kombat character for sure. Um... So if we don't see him in MK12, because I know he's been highly requested, um, I will be surprised um, if M uh, NRS even does guest characters at all. We'll have to see. Um, I'll, I'll be down for an all-legacy game, just all Mortal Kombat characters. Hell yeah. Because it's MK's 30th anniversary, so MK characters only. Do it, please. Um... But yeah, that's really all I have for this commentary. Uh, VGAs is in about 32 hours, something like that, 32 plus. So I uh, hope you guys watched the VGAs. I'll be watching it along with y'all. Um, I'm super hyped. I can't wait to see what NRS pulls off. Hopefully we get some, um, some gameplay instead of just a trailer. Like we did for Mortal Kombat 11. Don't get me wrong. That Mortal Kombat 11 trailer was fire. But uh, please don't use rap music in your trailers anymore. NRS. Rap just doesn't go with Mortal Kombat. <laughs> please use techno. EDM. Anything other than rap. It just doesn't go with Mortal Kombat. <laughs> but if you've watched this far. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this commentary. Um, and I hope you're excited as I am. For the next Mortal Kombat. Take care.